OK, so let's have a look at the results of our rainbow ply experiments. This is using PVA type woodworking glue, uh, 502 wood adhesive. So, the good news is they've all dried very nice and flat. Some of the colour has leached out into the water soluble adhesive, but I don't really think that's going to be a problem. It might make it a bit more interesting. The other bit of good news is they all sound really nice and solid. There's no hollow sounding at all to that and no rattling at all. So I think what we've achieved here is a solid product, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So what I'm going to do now is arrange these into a big block, glue them together, clamp them down, and then they're going to be sent off as a special surprise to somebody on another YouTube channel that I've been watching for a little while. So let's get these glued together. First let's work, actually work out what we're going to do. So I've, I've made a number of single colour layers like that. These, layer, these have just got two layers of plain with one layer of solid colour in the middle. We've got this one which has got colours staggered through on alternate layers. We've got this one which is just the coloured sticks and then we've got this one which has got alternating colours and clear there as well. So quite a variety. I'm going to decide how to stack this all together. That's the one, uh, no, that's the one I need to be careful of because it's got paper on the top. So I will have to make that one of the ends and then that will be turned away. So that's a nice bit of variety inside. Hopefully that will look good when it's all stuck together. Now obviously this is going to be a little bit easier than it was with the individual sticks because they're now all stuck together in a nice coherent solid block. But let's make sure we get a nice good coat so we don't skimp on that at all. And then I've got to make sure that the crossways here goes at right angles to the previous layer. That's good, that feels really good. That's got a nice bed down to it, so okay. And then this one is going to go on top of there, like that. So, more glue. So that's the stack, and what I need to do now is weigh that down with something to give it a nice tight bond, and if I can, encourage a little bit of squeeze out, because really there's probably more glue in there than I really need. So let's just make sure it's all nicely aligned, so we don't have any waste inherent in the block, and then we'll just put something heavy on top. then another little check just to align it all, make sure I'm not introducing any weirdness or skew into the thing. There we go. So wash up and I'll give that another little check before it fully sets and then we're good to go. packed up and ready to go. I'm going to send that off to Nick Sametti and we'll see what he can make out of this.